it's Mike Jack with Minry and Real Estate Promo with another Flip It Friday video. And today we we're just at a property and we we're just doing a property tour. And one of the questions came up about cracks and foundations. And this house here had a perfect example because a lot of times I'll talk about properties that'll have water damage. And if you see a, cracks in your wall that are running horizontally, you know, along the length, they might still, you know, go a little bit vertical, but their general direction is running horizontal, you know, a long distance. That is generally going to be a water related issue from outside. So maybe you're getting water outside and you got clay and that starts, clay expands and that'll push on the block. And typically when we see that the block will, will bow in or pop in a little bit like that. And that's where you'll see it crack along these joints, but it'll, it'll run horizontally for the most part. You know, it still might stair step a little bit. I mean, those are water related problems. It needs to be dealt with outside. So like rain, getting water to run away from the house, drying out the ground, maybe putting a gutters up in the, in the, on the roof, maybe running a, going to the extent of running a, a French drain tile outside, something like that. That can fix those problems. The other type of a crack you wanna look for though is like this one here. And I don't know if you can see this on the camera, but, and this has been patched, but you can see it runs more or less vertical. So it goes up and down rather than along the, the length of the building. This is a sign of a structural problem, not a water problem, all right? So we investigated this to figure out why, what's going on here. And it turns out this one's okay, it's, good, it's gonna be all right. But what you wanna look for is why is it cracking here and do you see any other signs? Like in the floor, is there some separation down into here? All right, well, this is not separation. This is an old wall that was covering here that, that's just discoloration. All right, that's all you're seeing right there. But if it was a crack and this was settling down, you would see a separation in the seal right here. All right, I'm not seeing that here. Looked in the other room, not seeing any problems over there. The floor is not cracking. A lot of times that crack will extend into the floor if it's a structural problem. Right. So we try to figure out, okay, why is this happening? Well, as it turns out, on the other side of this wall here is the main foundation. There's a block wall going right here. In fact, you can still see it right here. And then we're in here. Well, this is an addition. So this was added on. This, this house was probably built in the 1920s or 30s. And this addition was probably put on in the 19. 80s or something like that and then I think what might have happened is some settling where this just kind of settled a little bit and this wall had been finished off and you can see the furring here the we already tore it down you can see the boards and everything right here so I can show you that we did tear the wall off here and find out what's going on here that's where we saw that so I think what's really happened here is it settled a little 20 30 years ago and we, it got covered, so nobody saw this, and it just kind of crumbled over and crumbled and opened up and, 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 and looked bad over time. But patching it, and it should be just fine. So hopefully it doesn't work. If you start seeing more signs like cracks in the floor or separation, I've seen up on the ceilings where you can start to see the separation, like the sill plate up here might be loose, or there might be a little gap up here or cracking down on the floor that continues in. Those are signs of structural. This looks like it was just settling at the one time, so it's not that, not that concerning to me. But if you were seeing any additional signs and you were concerned about it, then I would get a structural engineer in here to, to give it a once over and see if it's okay or if you need to do something to, to secure things up and make it or fix the structural or foundation problems. So with that, if you like these videos, please uh, hit the like and share these videos. And we'll see you back here next week with another Flip It Friday video.